Slap City is a squatter's community located on a desolate swath of the Southern California desert. There are drifters, dropouts, artists, and outlaws, and other cultural descendants that have been coming here for more than four decades. These people set up camps on crumbling concrete foundations where they live in trailers, vans, and buses, mostly and consider these slabs their home. When the homeless were asked why they are here, most of them will say they are coming for freedom. The residents are deeply committed to helping one another. Men, women, and children located in Slab City were interviewed expressing their life in slabs and the conditions and circumstances that they had lived through. Charlotte, an old woman of the slabs, lived with a friend and her son. Everyone would come to drink beer, beer smoke, relax on the couches and, and recliners. The camp burned down and is now bedridden, and, or she, her camp burned down and she is now bedridden and dying, but the doctors can't do anything to help her. There was a man known as Insane Wayne. He wasn't really insane, but he liked, but he liked to look debacle. He was sitting in his pool to get relief from the summer heat. His voice was, ra was raged by alcohol and cigarettes, but he still sang at the Slab City Theater, where he performed in front of an audience. He died in his trailer during a heat wave. There was another man named Dave, now a nine-year-old man, and he quoted, I haven't done a goddamn thing in my life except stay alive. He lived in the slabs for ten years and preferred solitude. He liked art and had paintings of Van Gogh in his, in his mother's home. The last man was Jerry. He was a man he was a man of wild and a defensive meaner and from hardship and underneath was a boyish and had a boyish vulnerability and a an immense generosity. He lived in the slabs for 21 years and sometimes he would leave these when he got frustrated with others, but he always comes back.